Hey everyone, I want to talk about uh, real quickly on verification of rent, VOR, verifying your rent. A lot of times we have to do this uh, for people maybe have credit scores below 640, maybe had a housing event, um, or maybe need an additional line of credit. So when you're applying for a mortgage loan, you need three active lines of credit. Maybe it's a credit card, uh, an uh, auto insurance payment, those type of things, maybe a utility bill. Uh, but when we do that, one of the compensating factors is always using the verification of rent. So um, maybe it's due because low credit score, maybe you don't have enough reserve funds, or sometimes they're used for special programs, especially your first time home buyers. This is really important to have a good rental history. Um, so basically for verification of rent, uh, we're gonna look for a 12 month history. Uh, we can do that by ha consistently getting let your last 12 months bank statements. So the last 12 months bank statements, we can do that. We want to show that every month you made that rent, okay? And it's uh, we want to make sure it's we always want to make sure it's the same amount. So if your rent was $700 or $1,200 a month, you consistently paid that seven to $1,200 every month. So your bank statements is the best way to show that. It's really difficult when you're renting an apartment or you're renting a home. And you're pay, if the rent is $1,200 and you're renting it with two other people and you're paying $400 a month, but some months you give cash to your roommate and do that, that's really going to screw us up. So one of the ways we do that is we're going to go to a third party. Okay, we're not going to go to the owner of the house or for the verification of rent. We can't go to the owner. We need a, a third party, uh, more of an arm's length. We want someone that's either a rental company, maybe a real estate office, maybe a, a professional rental company, that's all they do. Um, so those type of things. Maybe that owner has an accountant that does their books and it can verify that for us. That may be uh, acceptable. Um, so it's really important. And with that, to do your verification of rent, we want to also make sure, always make sure you're using a check. Uh, cash is very difficult to do. Now, we cash is okay if there's a third party involved, okay, because they can verify that they rent, they'll have that history that 12 month history and their license is on the line for that mortgage fraud. If there's any type of mortgage fraud, they're the ones putting their license. So what that third party company, they're usually licensed individuals, they're not the seller, they're the ones who's gonna sign that paper, that verification, we're gonna send them a form, it's called the VOR, okay, that verification rent, and they're gonna sign it. So their license is online, if you, especially if you've been using cash, all right, and they're not just trying to get you out of that house. So they'll say anything. So we want to make sure that you do have a good monthly sheet. Money orders are a real problem, okay? They do work. However, when maybe you were late 10 days, so the third party rental company says no more checks or you bounce the check to them, okay? But uh, now they only want to accept money orders or a cashier's check. We have to look at your bank statement. We have to see that cash. So if your rent was $700, we have to see that $700 come out of that bank all within two or three days of you right getting that money order, okay? So that cash has to match this. It has to be exact. If it's not, it's not gonna count, okay? Giving us copies of receipts of money orders doesn't count for rent unless it matches your bank statement. So if you got cash uh, in a coffee can or underneath your mattress or something, and you'd use that cash, to go or you know use that cash to go get those money orders uh, we have no proof where you get that cash from that you actually made that rent payment so this is a real difficult thing to do so don't get frustrated we just want to show you the process to do a verification of rent to help you get that mortgage okay get you a mortgage loan we need a 12-month history